Lambton Heritage Museum's Lambton Gallery is being redesigned. The entire space will have a new look and different objects will be on display. This series of videos looks back on a few of the highlights. Today, Educational Program Coordinator Colleen Inglis will talk about harvesting ice long ago. Colleen, what is the significance of this exhibit? From the early 1800s to the early 1900s, ice harvesting was big business. This was before there was refrigeration and before you could make ice artificially. Believe it or not, when ice was stored in large blocks, either underground or in a building with really thick walls, and it was insulated with sawdust or straw, it would last from one winter through to the next winter. It could even be transported by rail cars or by ships to places that were very far away, such as the southern United States, London, England, the Caribbean, or even India. The Sarnia Ice Company was founded just before 1900 by William A. Brown. They had an office on Front Street and they harvested ice from Sarnia Bay. About 100 men could find seasonal winter employment working on the ice harvest, usually between January and February for about a month. Ice was harvested from Sarnia Bay until about the 1930s. It was made artificially in the area until sometime in the late 1960s. How did ice harvesting work? Uh, so the first step was to clear off the ice of any loose snow or any like bits of like porous ice that weren't nice and solid. And then you would lay out a really large rectangular grid area because you wanted the ice blocks to be nice and rectangular so they would fit together tightly to store. The ice man here is using one of their key tools and it's a horse-drawn ice plow and it's used for guiding and marking the ice. So the first, the front blade here would make a deep trench through the ice, while the back part would just mark the ice as you went along. So you'd go down in a really straight line and then you'd turn around and then the blade would cut along the line that you marked on the previous pass. So once the ice was marked, then uh, large a large section of ice blocks would be cut off and then they would be floated down a channel towards shore where the ice house was located and along the way there would be workers holding tools uh, such as you see here such as the fork bar and the splitting chisel in order to break the ice down into the actual individual ice blocks the closer it got to the ice house and once they were ready to go into the ice house uh, they would be transported by sled or they would have an elevator or a conveyor of some sort to actually lift the blocks out of the bay and then up into the ice house. 1923 was a really good year for harvesting ice on Sarnia Bay. Almost a thousand rail cars of ice were harvested and they filled ice houses at Point Edward, Port Huron and Sarnia. The ice was about 12 to 20 inches thick, which was apparently really good. Uh, harvesting ice wasn't an easy job. Uh, it was cold and it was windy out on Sarnia Bay. The tools were heavy and of course there was always the risk that you could fall into the freezing cold water. Once the ice was harvested, it was used to store and transport perishable goods. It was also used by the service industry like restaurants and, and you know hotels and that sort of thing. Uh, the ice could be handled using ice tongs like these or cut into smaller pieces with an ice saw. People didn't have refrigerators in their homes back then, but they might have an ice box like this. And an ice man would go door to door and bring them a, a block of ice. The one side of the ice box uh, looks a lot like a fridge, but the other side is where you would store the ice to help keep everything cold. Once you had your block of ice, tools like these ice chippers could be used to break off little bits to put in a drink or, you know, a cold beverage or just to, you know, help cool you down on a hot summer day. Thanks, Colleen. It's interesting to hear about ice harvesting. It's an industry that's basically disappeared with the inventions of artificial ice, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Mm -hmm.